All right. I am alive and it is good to be alive. If you are watching this video today, I hope you are doing fantastic. And I thought it would be fun to hunt Lunastra for all of you. So you can drop in, hang out, and uh, get a look at this sweet new monster that we got in Monster Hunter World. I really like the Lunastra. She is way more intense of a fight than the Teostra. Um, I think she's more challenging. Uh, just really gorgeous too. Like all the blue sparks and flames everywhere. Uh, and it, it's a really nice ramp up in difficulty as well. Uh, she can be downright annoying uh, as any other monster can be but for the most part once you get the hang of her as usual she's not that bad so I am wearing the entire Lunastra armor set here which is really cool but not not what I'm going to be using to fight her get, gotta get my daily login gas to get my daily login all right so as you can see here i have like a billion different armor sets uh if you guys want more videos on armor sets please let me know in the comments section um here it is lunar blight this is my anti um lunastra build and it is really good i get vahazak vitality defense boost level five health boost level three recovery up level three recovery speed level three fire resistance level three handicraft peak performance divine blessing and uh halved weapon sharpness loss because i got this this sweet weapon so I think what I really enjoy about the Lunastra weapons is that she's actually got two-star weakness to blast as well. So you can actually use her own weapons against her, uh, which makes the event pretty fun because um, you actually get to use your new weapons while you're farming for more uh, materials. So I can, well, I can definitely appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my voucher. Assuming I don't die like some sort of imbecile. Hopefully I don't. How's everyone doing today, though? Y'all doing good? I feel like I haven't made a video in forever. Uh, instead of health booster, we are going to go with the new temporal mantle, because that thing is flippin' sweet. Um, oh wait, let me just get my items. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Don't sweat it, it's fine. We're about to do the quest. Waiting on it to load anyways. The quest loads significantly faster with an Xbox One X, though, which is really, really nice. I am, I am very, very, how you say, privileged, and I appreciate it. It was a, uh, a lovely gift from my sister and um, my wife for Christmas last year. All right. So here we go. Got to drink your cold drinks because she is going to have that blue fire stuff everywhere. Now, I know what you're thinking. Fisto, you must be insane using... Oh, I need to eat. Using Valhazak armor, it's 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 like covering yourself in gasoline. Uh, that is true, but I find that um, fire resistance is not not as helpful as you would think because her blue flames still hurt the crap out of me regardless. I brought like armor with like 45 fire resistance or 47 or something, and it honestly felt like it made no difference. So I'm not going to be using that. I find that if you just have an insanely high armor rating with a ton of health recovery perks, I find that to be far more hel more helpful in my experience. So the Lunastra is a bit of a mixed cookie for me. Uh, sometimes I fight her and it's super smooth. Other times, every like third time or so I fight her, she'll just be a complete pain and just the perfect bane of my existence. Every little move she does, it's like it's coordinated to be the perfect thing to just screw me over. So hopefully this isn't one of those fights. But uh, I do really enjoy fighting her. Uh, I've been in a really positive mood lately. And there's two ways to go about things in life. There's the, you know, oh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna hate this. This is just gonna be a total pain. And then there's the way of looking at it in like, you know what? This is gonna be a challenge. Bring it on. What better way to test your might as a hunter? fight this thing. Easily the most challenging monster in the game, I think. I totally whiffed that. Shh. I'm not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about how I just whiffed. Ah, oh, Her tail whips are the worst, though. They have so much more range than the uh, Teostra. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, girl? Huh. Yes! A successful mount indeed! Onward, my steed! Her crest looks so cool. I love it. I love it. 
Last time I got to Fighter was on Freedom Unite on the PSP like 10 years ago. And everything in that game is just so pixelated and like, a, there's no different material types. Everything's just, it's painted. There's no texture though. <laughs> Yay! Alright. I usually go for the head first. Don't know why, it's just my preference because it's... It's probably really mean to say, but it's such a beautiful crest that I can't wait to smash it. That is messed up of me to say, isn't it? Bah! Ooh, right in your beard. Right in your woman beard. Ow. Just kidding, I love bearded ladies. Please don't hurt me. Please, no. I'm gonna put on that fireproof mantle just because it looks hot in here. I could use some refreshment. Really fun tip, if a monster seems out of reach, go ahead and do the shoulder bash and then that wide sweep with the greatsword. It feels like it extends really far. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna down some Astera Jerky. Improve my healing properties. Oh, I can't go over there. Ah. Luna, Luna, calm down. Stop screaming at me. We can talk about this. Use, use words, not just vocal words, okay? I don't even know what vocal wards is. I think I was trying to say two words and I just messed up. Not the tail whip! Shite! Shite monkeys! See, they always get me with a second one, even if I shoulder bash through it. Ah, oh, You gotta avoid those blue flames, because if she breathes just in their direction, they explode outward like an actual physical attack. And it is quite brutal. Gato, I know you're about to heal me, because you're on point, son! You're on point today! And I love you for it. Thank you, Gato. And of course, you're gonna do the second hit. What? It's like she knows when to do a second one. Cause whenever I'm not going to get hit by the second tail whip, she only does one tail whip. Oh God. Gato, save yourself! There is no surety from the flames. This is fine. I'm just cooking alive right now. In today's kitchen lesson, we're learning how to cook Fisto. Delicious cat. Mmm. All right, she's moving on to the next era. How cool is that blue fire? I love this. I was I was really dying for new content. I felt like it was taking them a bit long. Not even that it took them too long. I just like to know what games are working on. All they had to do was be like, hey, we're working on Lunastra, and I would have been like, cool, done, thanks. But um, I think they pulled her off really well. She is not a reskin tail. Nurgle, if you got something to say, say it. Quit screaming it at me. That's rude. This is not how we communicate. That's right, hug it out. There you go. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Oh, all right, let's cute now. You're not supposed to body slam. Girls, Nurgle. Nobody taught you any manners. That's just rude. Nurgle, you really don't shut up, do you? I, the only downside to this armor is that I am not roar and stun proof. But if I had those, I would be literally unkillable. So, kind of understandable. Well, Nurgle, thanks for that extra damage, I guess, against Luna. I'm just gonna... Yeah, you can you can stop now. I, I appreciate your hard work thus far, but you, there's no way she sees me. You don't see nothing. Nurgle, you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna screw this up for us, buddy. Oh, you done did it now. You done did it. All right. Come here, Nurgle, look. Shiny, dangly thing. I know you want it. Oh, Luna does. Oh, I hate this when you're trying to... Like, I just want to hit the crystal, but everyone's... Well, that works, actually. I'm gonna get that. And let that be a lesson to you, Nurgle. Boom. I really want to experiment with faster ways to kill... Lunastra. I've just been using Greatsword because it was the first weapon I made from her, and it's, it's, I love the Lunastra weapons. Oh my gosh. They're so cool. Um, and it's just been a really fun way to fight her because I was having a really difficult time getting close to her, given all her fire and her uh, tail whips and stuff. So I figured, like, while I can, for the small windows I have, I want to deal maximum damage, but I think dual blades would be kind of fun to try. Or maybe even a glaive to see. My goodness, how well she can combat that. It is just, it's total anarchy in here. I'm throwing on the other mantle, or not. Just kidding, no I'm not. Why, why would I do that? Why would I do the thing that I said I was gonna do when I could just get screamed at instead? I will always be like, Fisto, you want, you wanna have fun and you wanna get screamed at. 
And I'd be like, what's the difference? I love getting screamed at. Please scream more. Please scream at me. <laughs> Please, everyone in the comments, just ah! Just a a a a a a a h h h h over and over again. Please. Please and thank you. Why get subscribe? All that. All that jazz. Oh, come on, baby! Swing! Swing, bada bada. I love this mantle. You can just, like, engulf yourself in chaos. Look at that. You're like a ninja. Modern day ninja warrior right here. Oh, thank you, Nurgle, for interrupting my charge. But at least it doesn't hurt me. I always got to view the positive things in life. Ah, it doesn't block roars, though. <laughs> Still not roar proof. Got the rock steady mantle for that, though. All right, just keep screaming at each other. Oh, come on. So I noticed when the monsters walk, if they have the type of run or walk that hurts you, the temporal mantle will not treat it like an attack and you still get hit, which is it's interesting to say the least. It is interesting. Also, whatever you do, do not flash pod Lunastra. She will instantly do her supernova thing and get all pissy. So don't do that. That's a no-no. Really hoping to chop the tail with that. Oh, that was a quick block. Nurgle, no one's even over there. I'm not even I'm not sure what you're doing. If your eyesight's just not quite what it used to be. Oh, I was trying to smack that crystal down on Nurgle. That would have been so epic. That's what's wasted. Whatever. Whatever. I don't even need it. But yeah, so the cool thing about all of the Xeno Jiva Lunastra weapons is you lose half your sharpness. To top that off, this build gives me a little bit of handicraft. And as you can notice, uh, I've only lost about two-thirds of my white sharpness this whole fight. Um, I've even gone entire Lunastra uh, optional quest without sharpening at all using this sword, and I kill her. It's it's so cool. Owie. Yeah, just kidding, that didn't even hurt that bad. I've got quite a bit of armor, 525, which is not too shabby if I say so myself. But yeah, like, I totally get why people are like, oh my gosh, this is too hard, because some of it's just luck. Like I said, sometimes the monsters are just extra mean. But like, as you can see, once you get enough, like, armor or good enough weapons and skills, it's like, I'm fighting a Nurgle and a Luna right now, and it's not even, like, not even that big of a deal. Oh man, the Tempered quest is really fun. Not as bad as you would think it is, because you're like, oh my god, they're tempered, but they all have, like, way reduced health. So if you're just going for Luna kills, and then you don't mind finding, fighting a uh, Nurgle and Teo, it's quite, quite simple, my friends. As simple as getting headbutted by a Nurgigante. So easy, anyone can do it. Ugh, I'll just settle for your tail, because Nurgigante is all up in your business, like glitching through you. My goodness. Ah, uh, Nurgle. Nurgle, don't do it. Nurgle, don't do it. Don't do it, Nurgle. Down, boy. I yield. Okay, I am about to die. This is getting a bit obscene. Oh, you always. Proven 100% fact. I always get stunned on the attacks when I have, like, no health. It's never like, oh, you still got half your health bar or two-thirds. It's always like, you're going to die if anything spits on you. Hey, hey, Fisto, to top it off. Icing on the cake? <laughs> we stunned ya. Isn't that great? Not only are you inches away from mere death, and what you do in these last dying moments is a difference between existence and non-existence, but we're gonna stun ya. We're gonna tell you what we're gonna do for you. We're gonna break your legs. I usually don't die on this quest. <coughs> I tell my viewers. No, really, I usually, usually don't, though. That really sucks. Why couldn't I just have a good run like I usually do, game? Why you gotta screw me? The Nergigante dive bomb. See, what usually happens if you get lucky in this quest is you'll get like a turf war between Nurgle or Kushala Deora, whoever's here, and then they'll kind of like, they'll leave. If you're unlucky, every now and then you'll get it like this, where the other Elder Dragon literally follows you everywhere. Like the whole bloody quest. Like as you can see here. They were pretending to be buddy-buddy, but then, of course, when I show up, they just kidding, we're still angry, Mer. So, go ahead and eat these rations real quick. There go, I'm glad you're getting tail whipped. You deserve everything that's coming your way, buddy. You 
interrupted my fight. See? I can't even relish in the moment of severing a tail. You know what, Nurgle? I think I just might go for you, viewers. Should we just do a twofer? Because this Nurgle's pissing me off. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ow, fire hurts. Fire sucks. It really, really sucks. Fire sucks. Nurgle! Just stop it. You need to calm down. You need... You need therapy. You need help. You need to just stop being in my business. I just want a clean fight. A nice, clean fight. You know, not using dirty tricks. Which I know you love to do so much. I love how I was immediately dissing, like, Oh, you know, I'm just fighting a Nurgle and a Luna. It's not... See, like, look. He's just being a complete and utter nuisance. Do I have poop? Can I throw poop in your mouth? I hate to resort to being a monkey, but... I want a monkey instead of a palico that just flings poop at monsters. Can I have that, please? Can I please have that? Do you hear that, everyone? It's peace and quiet because nothing's screaming at me. <laughs> uh, finally. Alright, Luna. Let's have a, a daggum decent fight now that all the crazy's out of the way. Watch, I say that now when Nergagante comes back. But yeah, I was immediately like, oh, it's, you know, it's no problem, and then I die. But it's really hard. I wish the game would, um, like, kind of when the environment is in your camera, they just make the environment, like, look like it's not there or, like, clear. I wit Wow. This is gonna be one of those runs, I guess, where I can't do much. All right. Um... I wish they would have your camera phase out monsters or something, because when there's like a Luna all up in your TV, obviously you can't see the Nurgle. And if they're both like right next to each other, right next to you, you can rotate your camera, but you're not gonna be able to see jack nothing. Dos, tres, swing, bada bada. Aha! Shoulder bashing through roars is very unappre unappreciated. I feel like a lot of people forget to do that. Um, yep, this is great. This is terrific. The whole room is just on fire. That's, that's wonderful. I love, I love it, quite frankly. I, I think it's just one of the most joyous things I've ever experienced in life is being on fire. Nothing makes you feel quite, quite alive like slowly dying. <laughs> Sl slowly dying, folks. Woo, Temporal Mantle will also not shield you from fire damage. Do we? No Ted. Oh, this mission's taken forever. This has been one of my more unlucky runs. I will say that. Oh, what are you gonna hit me with that little stub? I don't think so. Not up in here. Not up in here. Don't be afraid to. Oh, gotcha! Look out! I almost chopped your head off. It's so, so. All right. Enough. Stop it. You're just being a nuisance now. I'll get it. You can freaking blow windy flames at me. Just enough is enough. This is why you have to die. Because you're too much of a nuisance. If you were the right kind of nuisance, I would allow you to live. But you just... You're selfish, quite frankly. You think of no one but yourself, and you're selfish. Oh, okay. Man, could you imagine if I wasn't wearing the, um... Temporal mantle right now? How cheap is she? Alright. Totally f oh, I didn't want to do that. That was a really bad idea. Okay, that's enough. I've had enough fire. Enough fire for one day. I wonder if the arch-tempered Kirin is just going to be like what Lunastra is to Teo. Like, oh, you thought the lightning was bad before? Well, now it's just like it can become lightning and just fly at you. It just becomes a lightning bolt. Just engulfs the landscape. The whole floor is lightning. Have fun with that. Boom! Alright, this is taking longer than I wanted, but she is almost dead, and she will die before the end of the day. So as you can see, uh, if you look at my health bar, I have not had to drink a crazy amount of potions because I'm just constantly healing, which is super nice. Whoops. I forgot to switch to my other item wheel. Well, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have a nice, smooth run and look all MLG for you, but, eh, whatever, it happens. I wouldn't say I'm one of the best players, but I like to think I'm an at least an 8 out of 10. I mean, I haven't had a difficult time here. I just got one shot by a Nurgle. 
little little Nurgle pup, little puppy. It's like a big old dog. All right, Luna. Time to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, I'm sorry. That hurt. It's payback. Actually, I'm not even mad at her. I'm more mad at the Nurgle. He's the one that ruined this whole run for me. Boom! Is that all parts broken, I think? Or was that just saying parts broken still from... I think that was just from the head. Just from the head. From the head to the heart. I want to tear you apart. <laughs> That's right, I'm also a songwriter. You didn't know that though, did you? Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Um, another reason I was thinking about switching off the greatsword is because you can't even block her blue flames. Like for example, if she has like these blue flames, if she breathes fire on them, like she's about to. Okay, the fire didn't stretch far enough, but the blue flames that like shoot off of those flame puddles, I'll call them. You can't block them with a melee weapon. Blocking them is literally futile. So it's kind of like, why even have a weapon that blocks? Why not just have a weapon that attacks faster? Girl, I'm going to shoot dragon pods at you if you don't land. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Don't make me bust out the dragon pods. Always does this, the tail whip numero dos when it's actually going to hit me. If I'm not there, she won't even bother with it. Why would she? Yup. So, this is uh, pretty great. I'm getting slapped around uncontrollably. Lunastra. Lunastra. Shh, calm down. This is why uh, it stinks that you can't really flash pod her super effectively because with a lot of monsters, you want to prevent them from getting back to their lair or whatever because once they get back to their lair, they are just insufferable. They're basically like 24-7 rage mode. And then Nurgle does it too. He'll just die bomb over and over. There we go. I think I dispersed some of her, some of her elder effects there. And she would fly. Yep. Thank you for that. Oh, and then that. Yep. That's cool too. And then you're gonna make them all. I assume you're gonna make all the flames ignite again. Yep. You go ahead and do that so that I can't play. Oh, look at that. I've been stunned again. That's just a real shocker. I'm shocked. Why would the game do that? Unheard of. It's unheard of for the game to do such a thing. Alright. Well, Gato, if you um, ever wanted to heal me, you know, I wouldn't complain. You've been slacking this whole mission, fam. Slacking so badly. Dude, this mission is taking me way longer than it normally does. Maybe I should have done a warm up round when I got off work. Boom! Yeah, good. I'm glad you don't have a tail, because you just, you cheat. You just roar, and then you hit me while I can't move, because that's all you got. You just spam stuff, hit me when I can't move. All right, that one was pretty fair. <laughs> that was a, it was a pretty fair hit. Can't complain about that one. Are you done, ma'am? Are you done? Oh, you are toast now. If this doesn't finish you, I do not know what will. Are they, are they oxen free? Boom! Wow, really? You are not, how are you not dead yet? I gotta be honest, I'm a bit, all right, I just wanna, I just wanna get out of this situation. <laughs> I'm a bit shocked that you're not dead, really, because you're normally dead by now. How long has it been? 28 minutes? What in the F? This normally takes me like 15, 14 minutes? Jeez Louise. Well, I hope that was entertaining, because that was the biggest pain in the ass Lunastra I've ever had before. Wow. Ah, but you're dead. That feels good. One of the only games where I condone feeling good about killing things, because they are just the biggest buttholes alive. At least the Lunastra is. Oh, man. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. I don't think anybody's going to want to watch this video. It took me 21 minutes. That's too long. Nobody's gonna watch that. Nobody's gonna watch a 20-minute video of me hunting to the end. That's no bueno. It's no bueno, fam. We need to get closer. Closer to 15. Whew. Yeah, that one was a big nuisance. But, all the better to improve my skills. Practice makes perfect in this game see if I get anything good. Probably not. I've had really bad luck with gems. 
I think I killed her 13 times yesterday and I got one gem. Um, yep, no gem. It's pretty common for me not to get anything good. Alright, Hunter rank leveled up a little bit. Very nice, very nice. All right. Mmm. Mmm, barbecue chips. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, it was much more difficult than necessary, but it was fun. Big sweaty man. You always bring me good stuff. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video to some capacity. Um, I don't know too many of you were able to tolerate me for 25 minutes, but if you did, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, please feel free to follow me on Twitter at cybernetic underscore cat if you want to socialize, if you love Monster Hunter as much as I do. Um, if you follow me and let me know you love Monster Hunter, I will go ahead and follow you back because I just love talking about that. I want more people to nerd out about Monster Hunter with. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.